That is the spirit indeed. Our first guest, Colonel Saurabh Singh Shekhawat, you are truly a remarkable officer. So much has been heard about you. Kirti Chakra for the operation at the Loktak Lake in Manipur in 2008. Our team met you and I think we've had the privilege of telling your story. But before that, before we hear, see your story on television, let me just say this. You led a very well-planned and impeccable operation, which I am told was over in four minutes, with nine terrorists dead, without any collateral damage or injury or casual to any of your officers or men who were part of the mission. You were the team commander. This was in 2008. Here is the story of Colonel Saurabh Singh Shekhawat. A unique challenge, an unfriendly surrounding, hours of assiduous planning and strategy, and result victory in just four minutes. The, the problem was, uh, which was in front of us, was that target was ahead of the civilian huts, and they, these huts were occupied by the civilians. The uniqueness of this operation was that uh, there was no ground to fight. As you can see, you know there is water all around. Everyone was in open and we were uh, in full realization that if fire comes on up, us, you know, there is no escape. The para special forces are one of its kind in the Indian Army. And these boys, led by Colonel S.S. Shekhawat, are trained to fight all extremities. This operation of Loktak Lake got the Colonel a Kirti Chakra his fourth gallantry award. The commanding officer of the Para Special Forces, Colonel Sheikh Havad, continues to write his stories of valor. As a leader, he takes the responsibility. Second, he looks at what he is leading. It is those men that inspire him. And as we say, it is the Naam Namak and Nishan, the honor, fidelity and courage which are imbibed in him, which take him forward to do what he is supposed to and lead the men for the task for which he has been tasked. See, Loktak Vijay was a very complicated operation. Anybody who has gone to the Loktak Lake would realize the type of difficulties it poses. And it is something which Colonel Shekhawa did in terms of planning, in terms of positioning his people, in terms of gathering intelligence and then leading the operation which got the success that we got. Colonel Shekhawat, tell me about the operation that we just heard details about. How it happened? What were the challenges that you faced? And how, as we are told, this provides an excellent example in teamwork? Uh, we had uh, information about a group of terrorist. Uh, the camp was uh, in a lake called Loktuk Lake, which is uh, a very big lake. And uh, the camp was on a floating island. And the whole area was infested by the uh, local population, fishermen who were living inside the lake on those floating islands. They had created huts. So a population of 6,000 was living inside the lake. And uh, there was no way that a motorboat could be taken. There was no way that surprise could be maintained because of the movement of the uh, civil population and fishermen. So that was the challenge. And uh, then there were a lot of floating islands. Uh, you know, you could only move in a canoe, a narrow canoe. It is like, you know, if you don't know how to ride a cycle and someone puts you on a cycle, you will immediately fall. The same was the situation with the canoe. If you don't know how to row a canoe, you will immediately topple and go inside the water. So, <clears throat> and this, these camps were existing for many years. So we came to know there was someone who gave us the information. We had very good relations with the uh, police there. And they were our informers. They were the guides. And uh, they gave us someone who pinpointed where the target was. And he got us some fix also. Then we did the surveillance. We fixed the target. And we did the surveillance for 45 days. And uh, then we prepared, went in, raided. Killed nine, came back and sketched. Colonel Shekhawat, I want to ask you basically looking at the decorations that you are wearing with the ribbons on your chest. Kirti Chakra is probably the last but the biggest addition to your set of decorations. You are perhaps, to my mind, the 
probably the most highly decorated serving officer in the Indian Army with a Kiri Chakra, Shorya Chakra, Sena Medal and a VSM. What inspires you again and again to go and do something so exceptional and put your life on the line? Uh, as a youngster, I decided to join Special Forces, uh, Parachute Regiment. So as we say, Naam, Namak, Nishan. This is my Naam, this is my Namak, and this badge is my Nishan, Sacrifice, badge of sacrifice. So I must not do anything which can bring bad name to these three things. And uh, I joined uh, uh, Special Forces as a youngster, as a no romantic. But I, when I joined and when I saw the real world, you know, these three things are not there when you are fighting. So when you fight, um, the motivation uh, is to survive. You know, you, you know the fact that, okay, now the fight is going to start and the bullets are going to fly and people are going to die. Sometimes you eat the bear and sometimes bear eats you. That happens and I have seen that thing happening. I have seen my men falling. I have seen the other person in front falling. So in that situation, the motivating factor is to fight and to survive. If you don't kill, he'll kill you. So that is the biggest motivating factor there. Uh, General Kadian, uh, you having specific uh, experience both in India's Northeast and as somebody who's trained hundreds and thousands of Indian commandos, uh, would like you to throw some light on what it takes to be a commando and uh, what operations in the Northeast are all about. Uh, thank you, Maruf. In fact, uh, I'm very proud of the record that you mentioned. You might recall you were one of the students when I was commander, commando bank. In addition to what you mentioned, I also had a very proud privilege of being the founding chief instructor of the Black Cats, of the National Security Guard. The first thought that comes to your mind when you're doing something which you're doing is, if I falter, what will the men, what will my team think of it? And that's what keeps you going. All others, what will my family, my society, my country come later? It is the men immediately on the ground whose life you as a leader are responsible for. What will they, they are going to be your judge. Everyone else is a history that can be written later, but they are the people who are witness. How will they view my action? There is nothing that holds back an officer at that moment. Fear is the last thing that ever occurs to him. Colonel, Colonel Shekhawat, before we move on, I want to ask you here. I am told that the 90 day probation period that some of officers like you go through. It's one of, the, one of the toughest in the world. And that only the best are absolutely picked. Would you agree with that? Sir. When you look back at your own record, what would you say to young people, some teenagers who may be watching you right now, on what motivates you to serve the country in the army? To them, I would say uh, decide. Set a aim and thereafter bash on regardless. Go like a fanatic, achieve that. Have you ever worried about the risk you face personally? Never. Never. The risk your men face? I was worried. Of other people around when you're doing an operation? <clears throat> I was worried about my men. It, the, the concern was always that I should bring all my numbers back. And uh, the second thing was that I must not do, my action should not harm anyone else. Like if we are taking an operation in the civil area where civilian population is also there, so I should, I should not cause any collateral damage. And uh, <clears throat> uh, my action or action of any of my boys should not be, uh, it should be within the framework so that the image is not tarnished because uh, anything can flare up any time. <coughs> it is a difficult time. Colonel Shekhawat, a round of applause for Colonel Shekhawat. Thank you very much. Colonel Chekawa, may you inspire many more like you. May you inspire so many more.